All right, so for this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to two. So to solve this, I'm gonna use logarithms and the properties that come with logarithms. So I'm gonna first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln two. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, this is equal to b times ln a. So I have ln of x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get ln, or sorry, I get x times ln x is equal to ln 2. Now I'm going to be using the w Lambert function, which states that if I take the w of something in the form x times e to the power of x, this is equal to x. So we're going to want to put this in the form x times e to the power of x, so then I can use the W Lambert function to simplify this. Well, to do that, I'm going to take e, or sorry, I'm going to re rewrite x as e to the power of ln x, because e to the power of ln x is equal to x. The ln and e cancel out. And now, x in this case is ln of x. So I have ln of x times e to the power of ln x. And now I can use the w Lambert function on both sides. So I get w of e to the power of ln x times ln x is equal to w of ln 2. And now I'm left with ln x is equal to w of ln 2. So now to further simplify this, because we're just solving for x, I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So now the e and ln x can't, e the n, ln cancel out, so I'm left with the x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 2. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 80. So to solve this equation, I'm going to first start by subtracting 80 on both sides. So now I get x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 80 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to replace 80, negative 80, I should say, with negative 16 minus 64. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as, I'm going to first rewrite negative 16 as negative 4 squared, and negative 64 as negative 4 to the power of 3. And I'm going to group x squared with negative 4 squared, and x to the power of 3 with negative 4 to the power of 3. So now, there's two properties that I'm going to use. And before that, I'm going to rewrite this as x squared minus 4 squared, and I'm going to group this minus x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. We put this plus because this negative sign distributes. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which is this, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So for x squared minus 4 squared, it's going to turn into x plus 4 times x minus 4. I have this minus a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, or in this case, x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. is going to turn into x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. Now, because both of these terms have x plus 4 in them, I can factor out x plus 4. So I get x plus 4 times x minus 4 minus x squared minus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0.
Now from here, this is equal to x plus 4 times x minus 4 minus x squared plus 4x minus 16. I just distribute the negative sign is equal to 0. And let's simplify this even more. Okay, x plus 4 times negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So I get two equations from this. I get x plus 4 equals 0, and negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So first, for x plus 4 equals 0, all we have to do is subtract 4 on both sides, and we get x is equal to negative 4. Now, for negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 equals 0, well, first off, we have a negative sign in front of x squared, so I'm actually going to get rid of that by multiplying both sides by negative 1. So I get x squared minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0. And now, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is 20. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 over 2, which is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 55 over 2. Now, this is equal to the square root of 55 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get 5 plus or minus the square root of 55i over 2. So this is two more solutions to this equation. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family.